This is breaking news. Eagles Nick Sirianni has proven to be a political talent. He had a day. On at least two occasions this week, longtime Eagles reporters used the word demotion to describe what's going on with Nick Sirianni and his status with the organization. And that's understandable. Yet, Sirianni's nameplate still raids head coach and his checks haven't been docked so in a real-world sense, the fourth-year mentor's job certainly hasn't been lessened. Even though few in Philadelphia believe it, Sirianni was still the one hiring and firing coaches this offseason and his step back from an offense that he once claimed would always be his as long as he remained the head coach of the Eagles was also technically his decision. No matter what avenue you go down, Sirianni is ostensibly still in charge of everything football in Philadelphia when GM Howie Roseman hands off the 53-man roster to him this summer. And that's where the context comes into this whole thing. Team owner Jeffrey Lurie didn't order Sirianni to hire Kellen Moore or even demand the coach institute offensive changes. Because Lurie never had to. Sirianni saw the writing on the wall after last season's collapse and was politically savvy enough to take a proactive approach before any demands could be proffered. The only question is whether or not Sirianni would still be the head coach had he taken a status quo approach after the ugly loss in Tampa Bay, essentially trying to sell his overall resume versus seven ugly games. Few believe that kind of approach would have went well. By eschewing a losing route, Sirianni has set himself up well as the 30,000-foot CEO coach ready to take back the rudder of the offense at any time if a talented unit can't live up to immense expectations. And if the offense is explosive, the Eagles will likely be an uber-successful team and Sirianni will again be on steady ground with more likely on a shortlist for head coaching positions elsewhere. Describe Sirianni's current standing with the Eagles any way you like, but the point is he's still standing with a fresh coat of selfless paint. Had he forced Lurie to issue demands, Sirianni would not only be perceived as a lame duck, he'd be a weakened incumbent with publicized limitations, foreshadowing an impending exit. The current path to remaining the Eagles' head coach in 2025 and perhaps beyond is still tenuous for Sirianni, but he's widened it by being proactive instead of reactive. Sirianni has proven to be a good coach during his first three seasons in Philadelphia. This offseason, he's proven to be a great politician and that rare political talent will pay dividends if the Eagles' talent is as advertised. 